anything. If you can think it, dream it, you can do it. Before it was popular, everyone said, well, you can't build a ship worthwhile of this size, 15 meters. I mean, it just isn't done. And to build one recycled, well, forget it, it can't be done. I keep saying it can't be done, I, I'm there to prove it can be done. Made by me and 5,000 Dutch children out of 15 million ice cream sticks and two and a half tons of glue. There's a nice statistic about that. Uh, the ship does weigh 10 tons, and that's about how much ice cream they ate over the five-year period during the ship's construction. All the kids ate about that much in ice cream, so <laughs> it's kind of neat. I the sticks from all over Holland. The first one million came from them, and the uh, roughly, and the other 14 million came from uh, factory floors. Sticks they were going to throw away, we recycled. In fact, every single component on this ship is recycled parts. I believed in recycling. I believed in, that we could do this kind of stuff. From day one, we made this ship green. It was strictly my intentions to make before it was popular. It's about cleaning up the environment. Kids pick up the sticks. Let's build something really cool with it and have some fun. It took a further one year just to collect the recycled materials before we ever started. We have electric engines on board. We are the first Viking ship of the Netherlands ever, and we're going to sail up the Thames, which would make us the first Viking ship up the Thames, the River Thames, ever, <laughs> in 800 years. Actually finished the project of five years of work, so now we make world history. Uh, when this dream is done and the boat's sold, I think I want to uh, go for the, uh, what do you call it, water speed record with electric power, green power, world water speed record in a boat. I want to go for that to see what I can do, just to show the strength of green engines. I'm there to prove it can be done, and then I'm, more than that, I'm willing to show you how it can be done. And uh, not just talk cheap words, but back up my words with proof. And I think that's the only way we can change the world in that. And, you know, with our trash we're throwing everywhere, is to show someone, you know, something positive can come out of it. But you at least gotta try, you can't give up.